Hello traders, so welcome to LS Blue. This is Stephen Gogoi. Uh, today we will discuss about the crude oil, it's a pivot point, and market trend and market range. And we will discuss about the crude oil, what going to be happen today, what is the probability for trade, is it good opportunity to buy and sell. So we will discuss uh, details about this one before go to this video. I read this one. So once you complete, we will start. So this one uh, crude oil and the four hour share right. So today crude oil four hour share is three seven eight oh one. This is the pivot point at the first resistance three eight seven zero, and the second resistance uh, is three nine three eight and the third resistance of four zero two seven. And the first support uh, three seven one three and the second support three six two four and the third support three five five six. So this one weekly search of so first uh, from the weekly how uh, we gonna explain how it uh, uh, how pattern is forming here. So before we go to enter the mark enter in this market, so we have to observe the long time frame. So long time frame. So that means we are not going to place buy and sell by seeing this long chart. So we'll find out the support and resistance for the day, right? So here we can see we previously we found it. This one is the resistance, uh, sorry, support because we connected previous higher point. Okay, this one higher point. So and the moving average 200 simple moving average is placed in a st strong support zone. So from this area, market is trying to go up in a weekly. So star stick also trying to cross and CCA is still over sold zone and trying to come in this uh, zero level so this is the weekly chart now if you see in the daily chart so daily chart you can see uh, from exactly that level around the 3450 you can see this one 3450 they are just giving a bounce back from this area but uh, we have to confirm either it will go up or from this area so we have to find out some resistance level is it there any resistance level Okay, so let's see. So I'm just uh, making a little more small here. Uh, it's just a minute, yeah. So smaller, I'm trying to make it small right here. We have seen some point. So you can see here, some here, 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 here. So we have seen some important point here and that they are trying to break this level in this area so there that means they're fighting to break out uh, either it will be up or down so that means they're making some resistance and support level in this area so we'll draw a trend line in this area by connecting as possible as higher point right so we are just trying to place I'm connecting here so I'm connecting just here a little more point here right have you seen this one okay let me a little more zoom on this one so yeah so here you can see we connect that previous data have you seen this one it's a previous connected uh higher point right so here and the next if you see somewhere like here also you can see but uh, yeah uh, some getting a little more above from this area and this here and uh, if you see in a weekly so weekly little more preferable here weekly seen this one support level and the resistance level all right and connected this one this one okay so if you see in the daily right now so we got this one right this is the resistance line so from this area I think uh, they are not able to break this resistance level according to our previous support and resistance point and here they are showing it will uh, come a little more down I think from this resistance so at that time they will create a lower high 
so now it's a lower low they will create the market will come a little more down and they will create a lower low and after that they will create higher high okay so it is to be higher okay so i think it will go around moving reverse will be like this one and that they will create a new higher point near 20 moving average or 50 will be here right near to 15 so we have to observe either they are able to break this previous point or not so this for the long term not right now but the, here giving some uh, we are getting some confirmation that it will come down and they will create a lower a higher low okay so after that they have uh, I think there is a good probability to create a higher high right in this area so at that area we'll find some resistance line so later okay so now we can see in the four hour chart what they are creating okay it, it was for daily so but the four hour chart have you seen this one they create a higher high here now four hour chart you can see they create a higher high this one previous higher low and broke down this one so this one i use the zigzag pattern so creating higher high and higher low it is very smooth to find out the higher high and higher higher low okay so here you can see so at that time i think they will come little more down to previous uh, lower point so like that in this area and uh, the price will be around 3600 right 3600 around and after that they will go up okay so that was uh, for our share and then i will discuss about the 15 minutes small time frame so just let me you know, zoom in and have you seen this one they're creating a head and shoulder pattern right in 15 minutes in a 15 minute they broke down this um 200 moving average I have seen this on 200 moving average black one and they broke down but trend is very soppy so they broke down but trend is very soppy and why i'm telling according to the trading method uh, this trend is not clear have you seen why trend is not clear just uh, let me uh, confirm you uh, when we are recognize as a trend is very clear so at that time 200 moving average will be very in this low after that 150 moving average 100 moving average 50 moving average 20 moving average they will like that continuously uh, ascending order or might be a descending order they will form like that a rainbow but here you can see they are not uh, forming this type of pet, uh, moving average right so you can see here 200 moving average and after that to 150 moving average they are like zigzag right zigzag they are crossing each other uh, crisscrossing crossing here so at that time you have to confirm that market trend is not clear right in a small time frame it is not clear so one market trend is not clear when it happen it happen only when market is sideways so this one suppose mark price is running this one creating high low sometime like no uh, trend like that moving at that time so at that time what happened moving average is crossing each other like that it's called criss crossing you can see here everything is crossing five is crossing 20 is crossing and the each other crossing right there is no clear trend in between so we have to find a range so let me see in a 30 minute or one hour chart we got a range in between here right uh, let me do so in between here you can see trend is uh, price is very choppy right sideways so here you can see i think it will come a little more down because 200 moving was making a big resistance and uh, here you, can, you have you seen this one from this area to this area from this okay let me a little more small. okay um, yeah For this area have you seen this area 
in this area trend is totally slope and they are descending order they are forming trend this is the clear trend right now there is no clear here in from this area okay so i hope according to me they are forming a head and shoulder right? and this one had head and shoulder right left shoulder and right shoulder and this is the neckline around 3671 near it will be a neckline i think it will come here up to this area so if you know that head and shoulder pattern what is uh, uh, target point if they break down the neckline so at that time we are calculating like that so here you can see this one neckline and neckline head point is 180 point and it might become 180 here okay it may come up to this area the price so at that time they will form a supporting diagonal supporting line in this area or market might come up to this area and it will go after that so this is the main method okay so in 15 minutes what you will do so 15 minutes today you have to wait till market come around 355 area so i hope it will come this area so if you go for buy so you just take a buy above the um what call this one above this range around 38 um 37 or if they break this level this neckline so you go for sell from this area from this area and the area price will be around uh, 300 or 3700 it will be 3700 level you can uh, start selling to where three five three five five four level right this is the method and if you get any buy opportunity so you go for buy from this area three eight three seven so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching have a good day